Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Okay, now first, man, I'm cranking out the videos now. And the, for some reason, I am uh, I can put up a video in about 10 or 15 minutes compared to hours and sometimes two days to get a video up. So I'm taking advantage of, uh, of this, this uploading time. And so um, I'm, that's why I'm cranking out so many of these videos here real quick. Okay, now this one here is going to be some of the things that really kind of shocked me. I wasn't expecting uh, when I came to China. Uh, let's see, this is the 22nd of April, uh, 2017. Okay, uh, one thing is uh, uh, I, uh, last week was Easter. And I had two people uh, uh, got a hold of me and told me Happy Easter, and I thought, and I said, what? <laughs> and so I asked them about it. What's what's the story? What do you know about Easter? And uh, they told me there's a a Christian church here in Kunming. Okay, now uh, so. So I don't think we've been getting the updates on what's going on. Uh, the The religion has opened. And so uh, now I'm not saying it's open to everybody because like I say I know they're, they're having problems with the Muslims. Uh, uh, they talk about that here. So, uh, uh, so it's not open to everything. But like I say, the, the stories that I heard, uh, like I say, it's a little different. So, and then another thing is the motorcycles. Um, like I say, watching the news and stuff. Now remember, I'm in uh, southwest China. We're out in the middle of nowhere. And, but it is, uh, like I say, almost 5 million people live here. And uh, uh, one thing that shocked me is the motorcycles. They don't have uh, uh, big motorcycles. Matter of fact, you can, there's just a few, a lot of them are uh, maybe a 90cc. Uh, I, th I think I've seen some policemen that had a, a 250, but that's the biggest motorcycles that I've seen. Now, uh, I know there's more because I saw a 1000 Suzuki, and uh, it's, but it was used, and you know, so you know, so these get in the country some way or another. But you don't see them running around on the roads, and uh, so that that was kind of because I what I what I thought was going to be a bunch of bicycles, people running around on bicycles, people running around on on uh, motorcycles, and uh, well, they're on the those electric motorcycles is what they what they're on, and the bicycles uh, probably ninety five percent of the bicycles you see are the rented bicycles, they rent them. Uh, so you don't have people running around on bicycles a lot. I mean, they're out there, but they don't even own the bicycle. So uh, that uh, I thought was kind of interesting, too. Uh, food being cheap. Uh, I mean, it's really cheap. Uh, like I say, I eat out every meal. Uh, uh, most meals run less than $2 a meal, most. Uh, sometimes I'll splurge. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay 6 or $7 uh, for a meal. Uh, but uh, it's very cheap. Food is very cheap. <coughs> and uh, the, the living standards. Um, now, if... Now, don't forget, I got this... I, I bought my own motor scooter, so I get around. I've... Uh, uh, and so I have found a place, a small community, in the middle of these ghost cities. And uh, I'm not, I haven't quite figured it out yet. I've only been there once. I'll be getting over there more. But uh, it's more what I thought was going to be more realistic. But really, the majority of the population is in big cities, such as the ghost city. And uh, I'm talking about the ghost city. Uh, ghost cities shocked me. Uh, they were. Uh, that's why you see me made so many videos when I moved out here to this ghost city. I mean, it was nothing like I was expecting, and like what we've been told, and all this kind of stuff. So, but anyway, so that 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 was about the ghost city. Uh, but uh, the living standards on the people 
is, uh, I say, when I first came here, uh, I lived in three days, I lived in, in a, a real Chinese uh, community. And it was hard for me to get food there. That's why I moved to a different place. Uh, but even that uh, was not as low as I, I was expecting. I thought it was a pretty good living condition. And uh, like I say, I've, I, now I've gone out to some of the villages, and tomorrow I'll be going to the village too. So, but uh, but anyway, now the villages is a different thing. Like compared, like I'm sure you all, uh, like I say, I'm from Oklahoma, and if you go to Tulsa, you think, hey man, he's he's a, you know they're up to date and everything. But if you come out where I live, there's 400 in, in, live in my my community. Right in the country, you probably think we got low living conditions, but but like I say, it's what we want, what we like, and so uh, I would say uh, I have not seen really, I haven't seen bad living conditions at all, and uh, but I'm not done looking, but I'm just letting you, none of it has been bad, so it's, it's been good up to really good. Like I say, I've I've, I've been around to uh, to see all kinds of different uh, housing and stuff like that, so. And um, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm still curious on uh, cars, uh, old cars. Uh, I, I haven't seen them, and I haven't, the, the, most of the people I talk to don't own cars, so they don't know. And the ones that do own cars, they don't talk enough English to really explain things to me. So I really don't, there's a lot I don't know. Uh, but like I say, I am thinking, uh, like say the, these old cars go to Vietnam, Thailand, uh, Burma. Um, I don't know, maybe Russia. I don't know. I don't know where they go, but I'm thinking to go somewhere, just like the United States. If you ever wonder where all the old cars are, they went to Mexico and Central America. So that's what I'm thinking. They go somewhere. Uh, I had somebody mention that you can only have cars up to ten years old. Well, I'm wondering if you buy a car at nine years old, does that mean you only get it for a year? And then you lose it? Hey, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I haven't been able to get all this qualified. But like I say, it does shock me. I've only I've seen, I think, two old cars uh, on the road. So, you know, uh, and I don't know why were they on the road, you know? Where's the rest of them? <laughs> you know, why those two? So, um, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still learning. Um, another thing is um, uh, law enforcement. Uh, law enforcement... Like I say, I don't know. I know. Uh, I know one thing: it's illegal to touch somebody, and it's uh, even illegal for the policeman to touch somebody. Uh, the what happened is I know someone that they were going into the community to get people out of the houses. They were working out deals with how much you're going to give for the house because they're going to buy their old house. And put them in a new a new house. They'll trade them or they'll sell it to them. And uh, what they ended up doing is it was a, a woman, and she ended up arguing with the policeman. And the policeman grabbed her. Whoa, that's a no no. And uh, so when he grabbed her, uh, she was happy, you know. And she said uh, one thing: she didn't think the guy would touch her because it's against the law. And when he did. Boy, that was good. She got more money off of her property because the guy touched her. So, you know. Uh, and that that's explains why, remember, they got my um, uh, passport. And uh, I went to the main police department in Chongming and, uh, to look for an extension for my visa. And they took my passport. And when I, one of the paperwork is I told them where I was living. And so two days later, the local police came here to my house. And then, I don't understand what everybody's saying, but I know they wanted my passport. And I was trying to explain, I don't have the passport. The police already got my passport. And so then I got on the phone and started calling everybody. And I turned around, the police left. And well, why'd they leave? <laughs> you know, what's going on? And then somebody told me that I had to go to the, the, police, the police station. And so I didn't know where the police station was. So one of the people I called come and got me to the police station. So I'm wondering, maybe uh, they arrested me, but they didn't really arrest me. What they do is tell you you have to go to the station because they can't touch me. They can't arrest me and you know cuff me and take me away. That's illegal. They can't touch me. But once I was notified I was under arrest, I had to go to the station. If I don't go to the station, maybe they're going to come back. 
with the big old burry guys, you know, and, and beat me up and take me out. I don't know what they're going to do. But uh, I thought that was really interesting. They don't need to use force. They just tell you what you need to do, and you have to do it, you know. And I thought that was kind of cool. So, but anyway, uh, another thing was uh, the kids. Uh, kids are tall. Uh, man, I mean, anybody under 30 years old, man, they're not the, the Chinese that I remember. And uh, like I say, so I, I've, I've seen them 6'4", six, 6'6", six, six is not unusual. And like I say, I've seen a couple that are probably really hidden close to seven foot. And uh, obese, there is no such thing as obese, uh, but they were, they were bigger. Like I say, the, the, the kids, uh, the, even the girls are, are taller. A lot of them are, you know, almost six foot. And like I say they're 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 filled out. They're they're filled out pretty good. And uh, the reason I'm saying all this is because I'm living in uh, they call it university town. Uh, I think there's uh, somebody I think told me there was eleven or twelve universities in this community. That's why there's so many young people, young people and teachers. That's what I've been going out with. So that's why I know about them. So uh, now another thing that's got me and that is I've been having to rethink the eating. I've already said how I think I've got videos talking about how to eat, how to take care of yourself. These people don't do anything like I say. They're doing their own thing. So I don't understand. I mean, they eat a lot. Uh, I mean, not a lot of times. They're continually eating. They're snacking, eating. Uh, I, I don't quite understand. But then again, remember, these are the younger ones. I don't know in the long run what that's going to do to them. I don't know if they're going to start getting fat when they get up 40 years old. I don't know if they're going to get unhealthy. I haven't been able to do enough people in my Hoi Chi work to really figure out something about the health-wise. So what they're doing here is different than what I talk about. But at the same time, they're eating fresh, good food. So that really makes a difference. And But they don't drink as much water is what I suggest. Now, everybody that I have worked on has their kidneys haven't been working as good as they should be. So I think they do need to drink more water. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. This Mike, no stress Mike.com.